Hi Aries and welcome to your daily reading. This will be for Sunday, Mother's Day. I wish you all the very best. I hope you're all doing great. So let's see what we have here coming in for you Aries for your general tarot card message. Okay, there's an ace of water. Powerful new feelings. The challenge is there's something about a commitment to a team or a commitment to a group. Um, it could also be the challenge is money that is shared or money that is prospering. New feelings about something. Moving forward fast, the chariot determined to go ahead, determined to overcome. I think it's written now. The judgment, okay. There's something here where there's a big decision. There could be an Aries Leo Sag that you're dealing with. Something is about a resurrection, something coming back to life. And what is the future energy here? could be a calling, a wake-up call. We have a Queen of Coin, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Wow, and your energy is a Queen of Swords. You're being very direct and honest. There might be something where you're giving advice. You could feel bitter. Um, it could also be you're just making a head-over-heart decision. You're being very honest. There's a King of Coin here. So there could be a relationship between two people, um, earth sign energy, or something to do with money. We have here that you want to solve the situation. You want to find a solution. You want to fix. And what's the outcome for Aries? Knight of Water. So the Knight of Water to me is like persuasion through the use of emotions, expressing feelings, queen of water. Somebody is coming towards you with an emotional, could be an apology, it could be somebody sending you love, but you're kind of in a queen of swords energy, like, um, you're putting up a, a block or you're putting up, a, you're guarding yourself. <clears throat> what is the Queen of Swords here for Aries? Why is Aries in an air sign? Well, there's something here, Two of Swords. It's a, you don't know what to do. There's a decision that is not clear to you. And we do have a Two of Cups. There's something about a relationship, a shared bond between you and someone else. Okay. Root of the issue could be travel with the chariot, driving somewhere, having to overcome obstacles. The outcome is somebody is being compassionate to you. What is the judgment? What is being resurrected? The king of wands. There could be a fire sign masculine. There could be a big decision here being made. Divine timing. A wake up call. <clears throat> what is Queen of Pentacles? Okay, there could be a Virgo with the Hermit. Um, there could be someone who is shining the light on something, maybe giving wisdom or advice. Now, what is the chariot as the root of the issue? Okay. Somebody is paying to end a situation or changing a situation 
by giving a payment or benefit. It could be somebody putting a deposit on something, but they're changing the situation. Um, you're in an energy of kind of like bitter or queen of the swords is smart. It's supposed to be intellectual energy. Oh, wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. Power. Owned, owning your power. Somebody's curious. They could be sending you messages, asking questions, um, wanting information, wanting to know. Somebody could be missing you. We have a five of coin and empress. Somebody feels left out in the cold. They're feeling like they're in an energy of lack. <clears throat> so the death comes in and somebody ends something and wants to give a benefit. So what is the Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups here? Wow, Knight of Nine of Swords. Somebody is very fearful or worried or concerned. What is the death energy here? The king of water. So there could be a Scorpio involved in the situation. So the hermit, what is the hermit about here? The hermit could be providing advice, guidance or wisdom. Wow, this is strange. <laughs> Five of Wands, competitive, you know, combative, arguing, and, and good times. So there could be a party, a, some kind of gathering or party, but there's um, not a good time there. I mean, it could be a wish coming true, but when it's paired with the Five of Wands... There's a problem because people are fighting for control. They're fighting for... They're taking things out on each other. Putting their anger sideways. <clears throat> wow. We have a Ten of Pentacles, a Seven of Fire, Ten of Cups. Somebody's in a very defensive posturing. Okay. What is the outcome here? Queen of water, knight of water, nine of swords. What is this energy about? The judgments on your mind, a big decision. Okay. Somebody feels sad or they feel like they made a bit of unwise choice and they're defending themselves, but there could be money involved, property, a long-term commitment to someone. They're in a defensive energy. They're kind of in an energy of fighting back. And your energy is, you're on the same page as someone here. You share the emotions with someone, but you don't have all the information, two of sorts. You don't have everything. You could be kind of questioning or asking why. Like, you're giving advice from a place of, you know, not emotions. You're being smart and using logic for. Something that could seem irrational, like the chariot is going forward quickly, sometimes last minute. Um, the decision is the judgment. King and queen of coin. There's a five of wands. There's a six of coin. There's a benefit to ending something. Somebody gives you something of value. It's king of water. Okay, what is the outcome here for Aries? Show us the outcome. Somebody rushes in with an urgent message. Um, the world is great success. Things that are 
assured success, but it can also be travel. Okay, here we have what you're wanting to be. You're wanting to be this problem solver with the magician. Could be manipulation. What is the underlying energy? I don't think you want to manipulate. What is the chariot? Justice. The enforcement of truth. The enforcement of um, balance. Legal justice. What's coming in here? You've been putting up with something. Nine of Wands. Now, what is the energy of the King of Pentacles around? Six of Air. Somebody's returning, coming back to you. Wow, there's this energy of being on the defense or standing up and somebody could be aggressive or hostile. So what is this energy that Aries is having with the Queen of Swords? Fire could be triggered. What is the energy on your mind of the judgment? You're having to weigh your options or make a choice. Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Victory, the hero. Getting seen and recognized. Compromising. There could be somebody who is juggling people. What else do we have for Aries outcome? Wow, Nine of Swords. Somebody is very worried or concerned, stressed out about a situation. What is the Six of Coin here? Oh, wow. <laughs> so somebody is giving a benefit or paying for something. This is a shock and also a healing. So the tower is a shakeup, but the star is letting go. So what do we have here as the tower? Seven of coins. Somebody is thinking about what they put into a situation and what they're getting out. How much money they have. There is the seven of swords. Somebody's using information, taking it, running off. What's Aries energy here? The sun card. So something is going to be illuminated to you. The light will shine on something. And queen of swords. Okay. So you're going to be giving advice. Uh, we do have a two of swords and a two of cups. You don't know the, the cause of something here. You're just, you're just seeing the um, outcome. The outcome is somebody is emotional and worried and, you know, maybe even paranoid. On your mind is something is being awakened, brought back to life. The underlying root cause is something is being done immediately with the chariot. The world card again. Travel maybe. We have the justice and the three of wands. Somebody is looking towards the future turning their back on a situation, you know, eight of swords, somebody feels trapped in a situation, six of cups, friendship, and ace of water, new powerful feelings surrounding a situation. Nine of Wands, you've been pushing yourself really hard. 
trying really hard, persistent. Three of coin and six of air. There's a team or a group of people who are committed to each other. And there's this energy of avoiding communication, not wanting to talk, or just not, not responding even. Oh my gosh, okay. So we have here the death and the ten of cups. So there could be something here about a change in a family, a change in a long-term relationship. Relationships and this big change. Okay. Somebody is very paranoid or worried about the end of a relationship. Okay, we're getting the sun. So something is shining on the situation, illuminating it. Um, it could have been hidden in the dark, and now you're finding out. But you're in an advisory energy. Like, your energy is queen of the swords. You are smart, and you're providing advice. Somebody here comes rushing in with a sense of urgency, knight of swords, temperance. Somebody needs to be patient. There could be a Sagittarius here. Okay, there is someone here who's trying to maybe even cover up something. We have Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups. Somebody's trying to walk away from a situation but not show the information or not maybe lie. I mean, if you want to say lie, um, we have a five of coins. Somebody could feel left out in the cold. There's not enough. There's shortages. So somebody's curious, asking you questions, wanting to know information. Page of the Swords. You could be giving them your best advice whatever you think they need to know because the situation is somebody's making a decision and it may not be thought through they're sort of doing something last minute and it could be you as well making a last minute decision Okay, so let's see what we get here for Aries, please. Show us Aries. The Angel of Balance is coming in. Financial constraints is an issue. There's a woman here holding a coin. Happy family. Third chakra, your joy, your happiness, focusing on what brings you joy and happiness and walking away. Wow, okay. Some of you could be walking away from a situation. Um, somebody could be giving you an offer for something. Um, someone else could be walking away. Looks like money is a factor here. Okay. The reading is looking like there's not a whole lot of cups energy except for at the end. Most of it is about logic and information, and then you've got karma happening. Like, the, to me, the major arcanas are karma. Like, it's your life purpose. It could, you could do it or you could not do it, but it would be a big, it would influence your life. So, Distant horizons. Poverty. 
So money's a factor. Like in this situation, there's a person that you are close to or it's your issue. Money is a factor. Expectation. Somebody is waiting for someone. Something's affecting a marriage. I kept thinking this felt like a third party energy, but I don't know. The lovers and the privileged lady. Yeah, I mean, it could be you. It could be someone else. There's a person here who there could be a woman or a person who has a lot of money who's influencing your situation. Or that could be your energy. High honor. Okay. Show us what else. Show us what else for Aries. The Great Fortune. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Bottom of the deck. We have a thief. We have somebody who's taking what's not theirs. Um, somebody could be thinking about you if you have money. Um, there's the sudden wealth and then somebody's thinking about this person on their mind. Okay, so the great fortune is there. Let's see what these brutally honest cards <laughs> called Beach Time Tarot have to say. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, um, jealousy, f fear. Twin flames, yin yang, balance, duality, complementing, <laughs> coupling. There could be something. A twin flame uh, can also be a karmic, someone who you're learning from. Wedding rings, okay. Uh, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promises. I mean, there was the lovers and the death. Oh my gosh, I just said this. The karmic relationship. Um, triggers, turmoil, resentment, letting go, loving yourself. The heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Things are perfect. The phoenix rising from the ashes. So you're going through a new phase. Re rekindling transformation growth. Somebody's changing their mind. Oh my goodness. There's someone here you're dealing with where it's like an energy of not today. Not wanting to talk to them. Establishing a boundary. Um, you could be still angry about something that they said or did. Okay, some of you could be going through a separation we have here. Um, thinking about you, missing you. Okay, that's kind of different. That's not separation. That's your feeling separated from a person. And we have seduction. Somebody could be using seduction. Flirting. Um, Hooking up third party interference. Okay, we'll just leave that there as like a side note. All right. Okay, Aries, this is your daily general tarot card message. Remember, only apply it to your life if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. So thank you, Aries, and I'll be doing weeklies later on today.